Hello, I'm Karen Elgersma at the Aviation Museum, and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. Woohoo! On today's show, James Green conducts a social media experiment with Tom Green. A look at an incredible pioneer as we celebrate Black History Month and a photography class that will stretch the imagination. All that and more on Go Island. Thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. We have such a cool show for you today because we are at the Aviation Museum right here on the Sandwich Peninsula. And if you've never been here, Paul, this is a place, I call it one of the hidden gems of Vancouver Island. Would you agree with me? Definitely. What makes this place so unique and special? Uh, it's just the history of aviation. You get everywhere from the pre-World War I era all the way up to the modern jet age. Uh, you see everything. You get to touch, smell, feel the aviation side of it. So tell me about the plane behind us. Sure. Well, the Ever Anson was a very popular trainer for a lot of the bombardiers, radio navigators, and even the navigators throughout the war. What is that? Well, that is one of the oldest planes actually uh, based out of Victoria. It's one of the Gibson uh, originals where, if you can imagine the pilot sitting up in the very front, in front of the two <laughs> propellers, sitting in what could only be described as an ice cream pail cut as a seat and he's got two rods to control and steer this thing. Unreal. And bicycle wheels. Bicycle wheels. Used to take off out of the Lansdowne Airport before it was a school. Well, we're going to continue to tour around the Aviation Museum. We have a couple of planes to show you that are going to make your jaw go like this. And speaking of jaw-dropping moments, Tom Green, the comedian, is coming to Victoria and Nanaimo, and our very own James Green is determined to get an interview with him. And he is uh, conducting a bit of a social media experiment to get this to happen. I'll let you watch the story so you understand. So help James Green get an interview with Tom Green. Send in your questions, your ideas, uh, tweet about it, go on our Facebook page because if we get everybody on board, he'll have to cave in and give us an interview. We're here at the Aviation Museum having lots of fun. This place is truly a gem here in Victoria. Now, I uh, love the, the World War I planes because this is when you really understand the, the, you know, sort of not only the history of planes, but what pilots went through uh, in order to, to fight for our country. Tell me about this plane. Oh, well, this is a replica of a Newport 17, which was one of the original fighting aircraft of World War I. And you, you truly get the sense of, as you said, what the pilots went through, the, the overall atmosphere. Like, these people were flying upwards of 12,000 feet, dogfighting in nothing but canvas and wood, and a big engine strapped to the front. So, Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You were saying that you flew in a plane kind of similar to this, and you literally could put your arm out, and the plane would change direction. Yep. What does that feel like as a pilot? Does it make you kind of feel nervous or is it more invigorating to sort of really truly feel like you're flying? Oh, it's truly invigorating. You get the sense of being a part of the airplane. Every motion, everything you do, you feel the plane through your body. We'll continue to tour around the Aviation Museum here in Sydney, but first, Suchet Singh has a story. As we celebrate Black History Month, there's a particular pioneer in BC that went on to become very prominent in BC politics. Sucheta Singh with the story of Miffin Gibbs. Don't forget, it's Black History Month for the entire month of February. So go online and find out what events are happening in your community. We're at the Aviation Museum here in Sydney. Love this place. What's this uh, plane right here? Oh, well, this is the iconic uh, airplane from the Battle of Britain, the Spitfire. Spitfire, just the word alone just brings up all sorts of cool old movies and oh I love that. We're going to continue to tour around the Aviation Museum. We're going to show you a plane that will absolutely be a blast from your past. We also have a story from the Comex Valley as photographers are taking on turning old rusty trucks and cars into cool pieces of art. So stay with us. Welcome back to Go Island. We are sitting in a plane from the 50s. Yes, this would have been if you booked with Air Canada, which was called Trans, Trans Canada back right. then. You would have had a plane like this with all this leg room and an ashtray in case you wanted a cigarette, of course, because you could smoke on the plane, if you can only imagine. This is the coolest 
playing. Tell us about this. I've already did. But I mean, you know, this was rebuilt by uh, volunteers here at the Aviation Museum. Yes. And two of the volunteers were actually pilots on this very plane, weren't they? Yes, two of the volunteers that spent a lot of time restoring the airplane were both the captain and, and co-pilot. And they, uh, they gave a lot of hand in bringing this right back to its original condition. It is the coolest thing to sit here. It makes you realize how much air travel has changed over the years. Uh, now, as we sit in this gem of a plane that's been lovingly restored, there are a lot of things out there that sit and rust, cars and trucks, for example. But there are some photographers in the Comex Valley that know just what to do with those rusty piles of junk. We are here at the Aviation Museum on Go Island, and this place truly is filled with just so many rich stories. Uh, we are going to continue to tour, but first, The Breakdown. It's a new show we're doing, directed and produced by our very own Dan Kahn, where we take hot button issues and we all debate it. You're going to love this one. Wow! It is so cool to be right inside a water bomber. Thanks so much, Dan Kahn, for the breakdown. That's one of my favorite news segments. Let us know what you think of it. If you have any hot button ideas that you want us to debate, um, tell me about this very big, cool machine here. Well, this is the A26 Invader, and it was originally a bomber during World War II. That then got converted over to be a water bomber by Con Air. Very, very neat. Now, career day is coming up at the Aviation Museum on Saturday. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, we are, what we're doing is we've got uh, a lot of exhibitors coming by that are offering different promotion or different packages to get into the aviation industry. So if you've got a passion for airplanes, passion for flying, it's a great time to come on and talk to the people that are not only hiring, but the people that work in the, work in the industry. And yeah. they can tell you the alls, ins and outs of it, the benefits, the enjoyment that they get out of their life. And uh, I can only imagine uh, some great stories that you'll hear because pilots are great storytellers. Uh, thank you so much for watching Go Island. We love to hear from you, so please like us on Facebook. We need more likes. I'm feeling so insecure that you're not liking us. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Send us any thoughts or ideas you have, and we'll see you next time.